well, it's that time of the year, guys. The much anticipated, or well, for some of you, the much dreaded exam results day is just around the corner. Now, on the day when you get your results, there are three possibilities. You either get into your first choice uni, in which case, congratulations, or you get into your insurance uni, which is your second choice, or you don't get the required grades in order to get into your desired uni, in which case you'll need to go through the clearing process. Now, you don't know until you know. So unless you have an unconditional offer from your uni, you need to have a game plan to prepare for all scenarios. This will increase your chances of securing a uni that you're happy with if you have to go through the clearing process. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five ways to prepare for results day so that you're ready for anything that comes your way. Number one, create a table of backup universities. What you wanna do is create a table of around five to 10 target unis with your most preferred uni being at the top of the table. To help with your decision, there's a really useful website called the Complete University Guide, where you can find out the best unis for your specific subject and its entry requirements. Simply select subject lead tables, then select your subject. Once you've applied the filter, a list of unis will come up which are ordered by overall score, which takes into account things such as entry standard, student satisfaction and research quality. If you select any of the courses under your uni of interest, you'll see the approximate number of UCAS points required to get in. Click on your course of interest and then go to entry requirements where you can see the specific grades needed to get in. My advice would be to choose unis which require the same or lower grades than the grades that were recommended by your first choice or insurance uni. And this is because if you go through clearing, it's really unlikely that you'll get into a uni that requires higher grades than what you are able to achieve. So once you've selected your unis, look for their phone numbers and add it to your table. You can usually find these numbers on the university website. Some unis also offer a live chat facility which you can use for the clearing process, but make sure you double check on their website. Number two, prepare for the call. When you're on the call with the unis, you'll probably be speaking with an admissions officer who will ask you for some information. So you need to have your UCAS number, name, email address, and contact telephone number to hand. Also, be prepared to tell them what degree you plan to study, the grades you have received that day, and any experience you have. So it might be handy to have your personal statement with you. Also, have a pen with you so you can write down any information that the uni gives you. In most cases, the admissions officer will tell you on the spot if you've been accepted or not. So if in doubt, be sure to ask about the next steps. Now this can definitely be a stressful experience, but you have a plan. So try your best to be cool, calm and collected. Number three, be quick. Now there are hundreds of thousands of students in the UK who will be waiting for their results on the day. And thousands of students will unfortunately have to go through the clearing process. Acceptance offers generally come on a first come first serve basis. I've heard stories where students missed out on a place by a matter of minutes. So you need to be fast on those dials. Number four, ask for some help. See if you can get some friends or family to call up your other backup unis while you're busy trying to call your first backup uni. This will increase the chances that you receive an offer from one of the unis. If you can get some help from friends or family, remember to give them the relevant information they need to prepare for the call, such as your UCAS number, name, email address, and contact telephone number. Number five, be open-minded. If you can get into a uni that offers exactly what you're looking for, 
but isn't exactly where you want to live. Be open to moving away from home, friends and family. You need a place where you'll spend around three years of your life. And if you compare this to how long you'll be spending in the workforce, it really isn't a long time. So you have to think about the bigger picture. Also, uni is a rare opportunity to experience new things, new people, and for some of you, it's gonna be a chance to start afresh. I went to the University of Aberdeen, which is miles and miles away from my home in London, but it was an amazing experience where I got to meet so many different people and made some lifelong friends there. So those are five ways for you to prepare for results day. Remember to create a table of backup unis, prepare for the call, be quick, ask for some help, and be open-minded. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.